Are you interested in learning tarot card reading? Then this video may help you. Hi, my name is Akshaya Kaure. I am a nature and animal communicator, which means I can speak to plants, animals and other species and have two-way conversations with them. I have also been a tarot card reader for the past 12 years and now I am integrating both these modalities to help me connect better with nature and animals around me. In this video, I am going to share a few tips with you wherein it may help you to start on your tarot card reading journey. I get a lot of people asking me how do you learn the art of tarot card reading and so I thought I'll make a video to make the whole process easier for all of you. So obviously the most common methods of learning are either by joining a class or by searching online and understanding the meanings of the cards and how to use them when you do your spreads. So these are a few common ways of learning and I'm sure all of you may have also come across such tools and resources. If you have found a teacher, that's great. If you have found a good uh, resource section, that's great too. But if you are still skeptical and if you still are confused as to what to do, what not to do, then this video will definitely help you. Now again, a quick disclaimer, uh, tarot card reading just like ta animal, communi animal communication is a personal practice. So what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. I am sharing things that have worked for me and many of my students. So you can choose what integrates and aligns to your energy and you can filter out what doesn't. So let's uh, move ahead. The first thing that you would definitely need is a deck of tarot cards. So uh, if you can invest in buying a deck, I would highly recommend you do that because when you have those cards in your hands, it gets much easier to understand and to use them. Also for tarot card reading, it is important that you have created a unique and a special individual relationship with your tarot card deck because you need to work together. So it's good to have your cards. Now, there is a myth that you need to be gifted your cards. There is nothing like that. You can buy your cards. Uh, if uh, you feel like you don't want to invest a lot, you can also look for, uh, uh, you know, someone you know who may have an extra uh, deck or you can buy your Rider weight on Amazon. I generally recommend um, uh, Rider weight for people who are just starting out but if you have an existing deck that's great you don't need to buy a new one at all start with what you have okay don't unnecessarily uh, go ahead and spend a lot of money on new things begin with the basics keep it lean keep it simple once you have your cards with you just go through all the cards it's very important for you to get a general idea of what the pictures and the symbols of the cards depict so just go through the cards the next thing is if there is a booklet with the card try to go through the booklet because usually all decks will have their own meanings and the booklet will be available if you have the rider weight deck i understand it does become very difficult to read that booklet because it's really tiny and it becomes very inaccessible to be honest but with Rider Weight, you have plenty of resources available online and you can go through them. Uh, pick out car, each card and look for their meanings. Now you will find a lot of information which can be very confusing and intimidating. So in the beginning, what I usually recommend is have a have your notebook or have a sheet of paper with the names of the cards written and just write one word or one sentence that the card means to you or depicts to you just one that's it so i have done videos previously telling you what each card could mean uh, also telling you what each number could mean what telling you what each suit means it will be uh, linked somewhere here or you can just go to my channel and look at the playlist and you'll find tarot and animal communication playlist you'll find all the videos there so i've already covered this topic at length so if you are interested you can watch those videos but for you personally uh, when you when it comes to learning on your own i would recommend begin with the basic meaning okay so all 78 cards the basic meaning just write it down and keep on going through it as much as possible because that's how you will remember it so that's one thing next thing is always whenever you have your cards at hand go through them see what they denote see what the pictures are and write down what those pictures mean to you so once you know the basic meaning through your reading through watching videos or your course you will need to add on to them because they are your individual meanings and one meaning one size cannot fit all so you have to also create a relationship with your cards and understand what your cards are telling you <coughs> sorry when you do the reading so ensure that you 
add on to this one line meaning each time you go through your cards and that's how you get well versed with the meaning now alternatively as or rather parallelly as you are working with the meanings also start drawing out cards in the form of spread like always i would recommend one two or three cards at the beginning and make a story out of them so once you lay out those cards make a story of what each card is saying and how it is interconnected with the other cards that have come up so this is how you start on your tarot card reading journey of course you can enroll in a course remember that every tarot card reader will have a different way of teaching will have different meanings of the cards and will have a different perception of what the tarot cards do for example some people use it as a predictive tool uh, personally i use it as a tool of psychology and understanding the subcon subconscious mi mind better uh, some people use it as a divination tool some people use it as a guidance tool so everyone's way of looking at the cards is also different and therefore you will have to meet uh, you will have to learn under someone whose ideology is aligned with yours otherwise there may be a gap to bridge in your communication and understanding so yes having a mentor definitely helps but if you think that you don't have the time or the resources to invest immediately there are other ways of learning tarot cards which i have already shared with you it will take time don't try to hurry up the process don't try to look for accuracy and you know validation immediately initially focus on knowing and understanding the cards and being able to interpret them and then go ahead with actually doing readings for others so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful if you have any further tips and tricks on making the learning of tarot card reading easy then please do mention it in the comment section below because i would love to learn from you and your experiences as well until the next video bye bye